So this is just explaining how much sugar is in each of these popular beverages. So as you can see here, we have Gatorade, and it's about five teaspoons of sugar. If you go all the way down to the Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew has 15 and a half teaspoons of sugar wow. in one bottle. Uh, Pepsi has about 13. This Welch's grape juice, which is really popular as well, is about 11 teaspoons of sugar just in this. Mm -hmm. And this one is seven teaspoons of sugar just in that one can. And this one is about um, six. So with the sugar, what's the connection? You're with the American Heart Association. By the way, y'all, this is... Yes, introduce so, yourself. Um, my name is Brianna. I'm the Community Impact Director with the American Heart Association Hampton Road. And we're trying to encourage a healthy lifestyle. So the important thing about watching your sugar intake, the sugary beverages, is a direct link to heart disease. So putting you at higher risk. So the thing is, there are certain risk factors that put you at higher risk for heart disease, such as obesity, diabetes, things like that. And sugary beverages can directly um, impact, you know, how much you weigh um, and obesity. So. And your body fat, the body fat percentage as well. So y'all take a look again. So what's their better choice if the they have choice to? Is going to be water, which I've been drinking sipping on, as you yeah, can see. That's your better um, choice. And the other thing too is there's opportunities to make infused water. So if you want to add like fruits to mm -hmm. your water, so cucumbers, ginger, lemon, ginger, right. pineapples is another one, mm -hmm. um, just to give you that kind of sweet taste, so you right. don't feel like you're just drinking plain water. Um, but yeah, that's a better option. All right, y'all heard. <laughs> These sugary beverages are a direct connection to heart disease. And now statistically, can you tell us something about heart disease? This is American, um, this is Heart Health Month. Yes, mm -hmm. so heart disease is actually the number one killer of all Americans in the United States. Um, uh, what's interesting is specifically for women, women think that a lot of women that I know think their number one killer is breast cancer, mm. but it is actually heart disease. So heart disease was once thought to be just a man's disease, but right. it's actually not. You know, okay. women suffer from heart disease as well, which is more the reason why we're trying to get out in the community right. and really wait, raise awareness about what heart disease is and how you can okay. increase your risk. And I see here there's a direct connection with stress. Yes. And heart disease. Stress is not good can for you your heart. It's not, it's not good for your heart. It's absolutely not. Because stress can raise your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And, you know, high blood pressure is a direct, you know, link to heart disease. Um, it can lead to um, stroke. It can lead to heart attacks. Um, so if you can, you know, decrease your stress by any means, that's the most important thing. To well, the rebuttal that I always hear with people is, well, you know, life is so hectic. I'm yeah. stressed. Uh, my bills. Yeah. What's, what's the... How do they get past that? Yeah, so the important thing is to have, you know, things that you can do to relieve stress. Mm -hmm. So one thing that's really important is exercising. You know, it's important to exercise. And that's really twofold because, one, if you're exercising, then you are watching your weight by mm -hmm. exercising. And it also can be a good stress relief for you so that you're right. not, you know. And nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. Out. Yes, nutrition is just it's so, key. so important. That's another reason why I have the sugar display as okay. well. Because these are things that people drink on the regular. They, they do. don't realize how much sugar is in yes. what they're drinking. So This was my mom's go-to yeah. with every to meal. Pepsi. <laughs> it used to be mine too. Yeah, yeah, but we thank yeah. you for coming out to yes. Anthem Senior Heart Health Day here with the YMCA. Um, all of us are trying to raise awareness on proper nutrition, health, and taking care of your heart. Thank you, Brianna.